Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Has it come to this? Has it come to the point where you go about bribing important members of, of the council? And how did you get that information? Honestly, you have to stop. Right now, the prince is even beginning to ask questions. Really? If he is asking questions, that means he has realized that you are a chameleon. Is that what you think? That is what I know. And that is what it is. Please, I have more serious things to think about. I don't have time for this. Well, now stop it. Will you stop moving me about like a pawn in a game of chess? Just stop it. Father. Mother, is there any problem? No, 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 not at all. Your father and I are having a hard to hard talk. Oh. Something is definitely going wrong between the two of them. I've been saying sorry since I came. How long before you accept my apology? You obviously do not understand that this is more than just you continuously standing me wrong. There are more important aspects of this relationship, if I may call it that, that troubles me. All right, put me through, please. Maybe you don't see it. But I think that this marriage is not for us, but for our parents' personal interest. I don't know about that, but I know what I want, and that's you. And how are you sure that I am what you want? I mean, for how long have we known each other? You see, my friends, a heart that finds what completes it does not know time. I know that you're uncomfortable with this relationship because of my lifestyle. That is what is holding you back. But I am here to tell you that I'm ready to make amends. I'm ready to change my lifestyle. I'm ready to be whatever you want me to be. That's enough sacrifice, right? I'm ready to do that because I love you. Yes, I love you. Somebody, somebody, hey. May your reign be long, your highness. I know. I sure will live long. But I don't know about you. What did you just say? Well, Alpha Mefuna, a ship is about to sail. It might leave you behind. But if you say right here and now that you have changed your mind, it will pick you up. Lolo, you don't have any right to come to my house to threaten me. You may be royalty, but this town is mine as well. And I owe our ancestors an obligation Never to watch someone like you mess it up. Good. Good. Let's see how it works for you then. Those who are afraid of taking risk in life, 
are like fish in the ocean, afraid of being beaten by the raindrops. Life itself is a risk. Lolo, it is better you light a candle than to cause the darkness. I still maintain my stand. What are these frequent visits from Lola all about? And each time she visits, she seems to live very angry. There's nothing to worry about, my son. Uh, let me quickly rush to where I'm going before it gets late. Our kingdom okay. is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. It's not there. Ever since I came back, I always noticed you at this spot. And you are very peaceful too. You are very young. I'm more concerned about you. Something in me tells me you can be helped. My friend, I know you understand me. You may be mentally unwell, but your understanding is still intact. Well, I am Prince Uzodema, the prince of this land. I want to be your friend, okay? I will help you. Just give me the chance. I will help you. Okay? My friend. the youth meeting eh? and we are sent to go to the palace to meet Igwe but there is need for you to come with us yes as the direct victim so you can pour out your grievances pour out your mind say your mind to the king am I right or what do you think you're right you're right um let's take note Binda once we get to the palace mm. I want you to be bold enough to tell the king your mind because all we need is justice yes Obinda my brother you have to take heart I know how it is but when we get to the palace, the Igwe will definitely see what to do for me. Yes, your father cannot just like die like that. Let's go. To what do we owe this unfriendly visit? Your Majesty, my heart is heavy. In his house, under the same roof that gave him shelter for years, my father was nicked in on and strangled to death. 
You all cannot sit and fold your hands as if nothing happened. When apparently a murderer is living with us here in this kingdom. Just so. Um. Elders. Youths of our land. In as much as we are all heartbroken. Heartbroken with the death of one of our own, who is your father. Uh, it will be spurious for us to conclude based on your evidence. You know, uh, for all we care, your father may have simply died in his sleep. Your Majesty, the only evidence could have been bringing the killer before you all. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of him that night. But I can swear on my life that I saw the assailant disappear into the darkness. Hey, whoever that did this, Your Majesty, we demand that you investigate and bring him or her to justice. Yes. Yes, Igwe. All we seek is justice. Youths of our land. Uh, we want to promise you, we want to assure you that this matter will be investigated thoroughly. We will not fold our hands and watch. We've not been doing that. We will look into this matter. Yes, if any perpetrator is found, be rest assured that such a perpetrator will be brought to, to justice. He will be punished according to the laws of this land. Yes. Thank you, Igor. Thank you. Thank you. But evil people want to destroy it. Lazy youths. That is where you see them. Yes. A man does not die naturally anymore. Not. What is going on? What is going on? such a man. I support the idea that his death should be investigated. Jack, it is only so clean. Nobody knows for sure what exactly, but which is exactly why his death should be investigated. <laughs> Evil looms and anarchy is upon us. Evil men are on rampage. Words of the oracle. He wears will go like an M. Words from the oracle for you. The oracle said you should brace up. Step up and wipe off the shame of this land. Is it even? What is expected of me? What is it I'm supposed to do? What do they want me? I am confused. As a Dibia, I am also deeply worried. Atwala, Malo, Malo. Hmm. 
The oracle speaks with facts. Can you perceive it? Enolisia Raiwe. You did it. <laughs> the oracle awaits you. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful, but evil people want to destroy it. Ah, greetings, SDB. Prince Uzodema, the head that will wear the crown someday. You appear to be so calm concerning the calamity that is coming to this land. Is that what Western life has done to you? I do not understand, Ezebibe. Is there anything I'm doing that I'm not supposed to be doing or neglecting to do? Wisdom. But that is if only the evil hands will allow this wisdom to yield fruits in this land. Princess Odima, preparations are ongoing for the return of your bride. How is that coming? Well, as a DBA, unfortunately, I, I am not fully involved in the so-called preparations. I think my mother will be in the right position to answer that. Every man is expected to be fully involved in issues concerning his heart, life, and future. Only if that man is allowed to make decisions about the things that involve his heart and future. Prince Uzodema, you need to pay me a visit. We have a task to fulfill. Make it a priority. Mm. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. And what do you mean by that? We cannot let him die like a fowl. People are destined to die in different ways. It was Afemi Fumia's fate to die in his sleep. I totally disagree with you. He was murdered, and you and I know that very well. I know nothing with you. But you heard his song. He saw the killer escape. What I'm saying is that I am going to get to the logical conclusion of this case. And I will never cease from reminding the king of his promise to the youth. You never can tell. It could be you or me tomorrow, if this killer is not apprehended and punished. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful, but evil people want to destroy it. It's got the, it's got the, it's got the, it's got the, it's got the. Did you understand any of the things I told you about Ezedibia's rants? Yes, I did. Ezedibia does not. He speaks the words of the oracle. As you go, as far as I am concerned, you did not wrong him in any way. So why would you be afraid of his proclamations? With a woman, a strong woman like me beside you, you don't have to be afraid of anything. Believe me. So what are we talking about now? Um... Afame Funa was against the marriage between her son and Douglas's daughter. And now he's no more. So what are we still waiting for? I can't believe that you're rejoicing at the death of a fellow human being. Is this what desperation has led you to? Yes, We rejoice when people who stand in the way of our progress die. Okay. Take Ulisse, your brother, for example. Ah, 
How did this go? Well done. Have you done it? Very well. I killed him with their bare hands. Are you sure? Very sure. Ladima, my wife, will be very happy to hear this news. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful, but evil people want to destroy it. Father. Are you having a bad day, dream or what? Was I? I wouldn't know. With the look on your face, I can bet. Take a break then. Go somewhere out of this town and get refreshed. I'm surprised that vacation is not a part of a lifestyle for most people here. Oh, girls, chasing after rats when his house is burning. Father, I understand. I do understand that a lot has been going on in this kingdom. But that's the more reason you should go out and take a break. <sighs> Son. No. No. Oh, it's okay. It's totally up to you. I'm just here to inform you that as a bear requested I should visit him. Well, uh, he talked casually. I guess there is nothing to worry about. I only thought it wise to mention it to you before going to visit him. Well, well. Try and time. Go see him. And let me know the outcome. Yeah. It's okay, Father. I'll leave you. But, uh... I think it's good you go in and take a proper nap. Okay? No, 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 no. Okay. I will leave you now, Father. Consequences, and I'm setting myself free. Freedom from what? If I may ask, no. 
freedom from the burden I have borne in my heart for years. I have never known peace. I have never known peace since, since that crown was placed on my head. Yes. The last thing I want is for anybody to blackmail me for my mistakes, especially my wife. Is... Is Lolo trying to blackmail you? No. Oh no, my wife told you things and you know it. He told you things. And soon the whole world will hear about it, too. So, before the world gets to hear it, before everybody hears about it, I want to come clean. I want to tell the world how I skimmed myself onto this throne. How I skimmed myself onto the throne by killing my uncle. Maybe that's what it will take to see that the tradition of the glorious dice is not neglected. Yes. Igwe, look at you. You are supposed to be my very wise friend. But look at you. Do you truly understand the consequences of admitting to committing murder? <laughs> Igwe, you will not only lose the truth, but you'll be sent on exile for life. Or worse still, stoned to death. Is it not better for me? Is it not better for me than, than to lead the entire kingdom to destruction? Igwe, is it not obvious that you have not been thinking? But as your age-long friend, I will help you as usual. Look around you. I mean, look around the kingdoms around you. They are beginning to abdicate, do away with unfavorable traditions. Men and women commit atrocities and they are Deities do not cough. Yes, Igwe. Let's look at it like this. If our oracle were as potent as we fear it to be, why is it that you are still sitting on the throne after taking the life of the rightful successor? If I were you, I will allow your son to marry you. Just like your wife has been campaigning. It will do you so much good. Whose fault is it that Osita Dima disappeared into thin air with his daughter? Is it yours?
I'm surprised at your question. Now. Is this not what everyone has always wanted from me? That's how it is, my son. That has always been the expectation. Uh, but you see the changes coming, you know, all of a sudden. The other day, you just couldn't bear the, the stand of the girl. You couldn't, you couldn't accommodate her. You couldn't, you couldn't look at her. But now, look at it. You are not only all over the girl, but also planning for what? Marriage. Adizi. Father, since tradition cannot be disobeyed, yes. things have to happen at some point. I agree she is not totally what I wanted as a wife. But um, she promised to make some adjustments. Okay. Oh, yes. And to be honest with you, she is not that bad. I guess I'm the one being too judgmental. I mean, people have to be themselves. That she loves to party and all does not mean she can make a good wife. We must all realize that as far as uh, the real household is concerned, every one of you must adapt, must tailor him or herself to the standard of royalty. Father, that, that is where the adjustment will apply. Good. So we get to that. And uh, so, welcome to the world of marriage, son. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, uh, let me fix some things inside. I'll be back soon. Something is seriously wrong with our land. We cannot all pretend that it is normal. Or that things are going as usual. Certainly not. First, Alpha Mefuna died in his sleep. And today, Akachi's corpse was found lying in the middle of the road. Like the carcass of a common fowl. Sad. Really sad. Look, let us not pretend that these events are natural. We have to act in the chain. We need to act naturally for now. What do you propose? Uh, I would have suggested that we consult this is the But our free sense, you are not be speaking well on this kingdom. Doesn't it still boil down to the fact that something is terribly amiss? See, we have more troubles on our hands than we realize. <sighs> Let's use our heads. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, hai. You can do this, Uzo. Yes, I can. There is no going back on this. It has to happen. Okay. Mom, mom, mom. What is going on? Are they here? Just excuse us for a moment, please. Are they here? Excuse us for a moment. Oh, leave. Go, 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 go. Leave it and go. Come back. Oh, uh, you mean? Just, just, just a minute, please. Thank you. Mom, what's, what's happening? I'm worried. I'm anxious. Are, are they here? What's going on? Prince Uzodema is not picking his phone. I called the queen, but she said she couldn't talk, that she would call me back. Did you manage to speak with him? Not at all. 
I've tried severally to reach him. He's not taking his call. He's not calling me back. I don't know what is going on, mother. I don't know. <sighs> Let it not be what I'm thinking. I mean, he cannot abandon me today, mother. He, not today. No, 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 no. Lolo knows better than to allow that to happen. He does not. Besides, we had everything sorted out. Did we not? <sighs> mother. Prince Uzodema had his doubts about me and this marriage. He was practically forced into it. Let it not be that he ran away at the last minute. Mom, look at it. Maybe he played along all this while. Will you shut run up? up? Will you shut up and allow me to think for a moment? Mom, please don't shut me up. I know what I'm saying. The shame. The shame. What would people say? I said, shut up! Shut up! I remember. I remember. Hello? Here. What happened? What, what, what did they tell you? Talk to me, mother. What is it? What is going on? Yeah, hello, as you go. My guests are getting impatient. Is there any problem? What? As you go, what did you say? Ezuko, what, what did you just say? Uh, honey, um, Lolo just called me now to inform that Princess Odema just had an accident. I just got the same message from Ezuko. Well, he broke a couple of bones and severely fractured his skull. Doctor, that's horrific. Is he going to be okay? Well, um, at the moment, honestly speaking, we can't tell. But we're hopeful. Doctor, please talk to me. What are his chances? <laughs> like I said, we are hopeful. Due to the traumatizing injury he sustained in his skull, he might have complete or partial amnesia. Not to scare you. Not to scare you. He's in safe hands. He also stands a chance of not using that leg again. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, I'll have to leave you too. I have other patients to attend to. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mara, please let, let me call you back. Hi, Dad. Young lady. Where on earth have you been? Huh? I thought you were at the hospital, but I just got to know that you've not been there for days. Well, what's going on? That I needed some time to clear my head. Of course, it's a difficult time for everybody, especially you, but you need to be there for Prince. And of course, for Lola. Huh? A visit to the hospital once in a day is not a bad idea. To what end, Dad? Excuse me? What do you mean by to what end? Dad, what do you expect me to do? 
The brains stand the risk of partial or complete amnesia. He might never walk again. As we speak now, he is on a prolonged unresponsiveness. So that I ask again, what do you want me to do? Would you? Well, it's uh, delaying his awakening that um, brought about the general anesthetic. I'm so worried. I am worried because it's been days and it's still like this. Do you have children? I cannot lose my child. Men want. I can't lose him. We're trying our best. No. He's in safe hands. No. Your best is not good enough at this moment. Try something different. I can't lose my son. I can't lose him. Well, um, ma'am, I think I have other questions to attend to. I'll be married. I'll come back and check on you later. Thank you. Our kingdom is beautiful. You're moving on from where to where? Are you insane? Huh? Being insane means holding on to something that is no longer valuable. Is no longer valid. So my daughter has to move on with her life. Please do not rub my name in the mud. Do you hear me? What's 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 all this madness? What, what is going on? The only mud I see here is giving out our daughter to a cripple. Be he a prince or not. A cripple? So who is talking about anyone being crippled here? Who? It's more than likely to be so. And the earlier or on you comes to terms with that. And move on with her life. Be better for her and for all of us. Really? So, your friend Lola, what do you have to say to her? Answer me. Wouldn't your ears tremble to hear that I chose my friend for our daughter? I owe her no explanation whatsoever. Really? It's obvious you do not have an iota of loyalty in you. The least you and your daughter could do at this point in time is to stand by this family. That's the very least you could do. Dad, there's no time for that. Yes. It's not like the prince wanted me more at all. He was judgmental about my lifestyle. I had to make some sacrifice, forfeit the things that gave me joy just to be with him. This marriage was never meant to be anyway. I have nothing else to tell both of you. Nothing. I can see that something is wrong with you. He still hasn't woken up. Anyways, the Igwe wants it back at the palace. He has sent his aide to take care of the prince while you're gone. Well, I cannot leave the prince with an aide. If Onoluju can come here, fine. I will confidently leave him in her care. Please tell the king that. Sorry. No, no. You may not like this. But I need to tell you. What is it? A message came to the palace that the Oyebuchis have cancelled the marriage proposal. Yes. They have. Is 
easy. Take it easy. Where is this place? A hospital. Just relax and wait for the doctor to come. Oh, son! Wow. Son! You are awake! Burnt her, burnt. You're fine, okay? Everything will be fine. You will be fine, alright? Let me get the doctor, okay? Relax. You should relax. Zamele, Zamele, hi. Your Majesty. Now that it, it is official that Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter is no longer interested in the marriage, as far as I'm concerned, it is a good omen that they called off the marriage in the first place. Obviously, the courts have seen that the roads some of us we are bent on traveling had nothing but thorns. And who are these people you are referring to? You better put your tongue back to your mouth if you have nothing reasonable to say. I never mentioned any names, but who the cap fits, let him wear it. After all, were you not the one who masterminded so-called marriage in the first place? The problem with you is that you are backwards and senseless. I will not let you drag me down with you. <laughs> it is better for me to be backward and senseless than to have no dignity left in me whatsoever. Enough, both of you. Enough. Must you continue every day? must find something to disagree about and thereupon quarrel about it. Hey, but I mean, people quarrel. But if you must quarrel, why don't you do it respectfully? Igwe, Igade, thank you for that word of wisdom. See, my suggestion is that everything about Uzodema's marriage should be put on hold. We cannot be talking about his life and marriage. Why is battling with his life in the hospital? Let us wait until he's sound and healthy before we start doing that. Yes, Chimaro. That's uh, some wisdom there. I have actually thought about the same thing. Um, elders, we until Prince Uzadima is healed, recovered, and brought back to this palace. All talks about his marriage will cease henceforth. What are you expecting? That he will accept you back as soon as you run back to him? Why not? Because you left him for another man, Ujumwa. That's why. Fine. I left him for another man. And I decided to leave that other man for him. Can you just stop talking because you really sound stupid right now? Clara. <laughs> he will come back to me anyway. He doesn't have a choice because I know that he is helplessly helplessly in love with me mm -hmm. you know man he's just trying to protect his ego but well, he would definitely come back i mean the fact that he doesn't have any woman in his life yet shows that he's hoping to have me back and who told you he doesn't have another woman in his life does he look Ujuma, you need to realize two things one, the world does not revolve around you simply because you're privileged. 
Secondly, there are loads of women out there who will kill to have the man you threw away. Excuse me? When you started this game, I warned you, didn't I? Now look at you. You've lost at both sides. But not to worry. With some cash to throw around, another man will fly into your fishing net. But as for well, nah, nah, forget about him. Because another woman who places more value on him has taken him. So, see you around, girlfriend. And good luck with your new vision. You mean she hasn't been here since I got admitted? She was here only twice, and that was it. The next thing I heard was that she had called off the marriage proposal. Son, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I never knew she would behave this badly. Son. It's okay, mother. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. The important thing is that I'm alive. Yes, my son. It's okay. about the prince? Why are you crying? Her life but can't walk. I don't know how I'm going to live with myself. I don't. Mm. Our son is alive and is recovering. We should be grateful for that. It's so good to rub salt on the injury. Ronujo has abandoned him at this time. Honestly, if anybody had told me that Catherine would betray us, I wouldn't have believed. Betraying you? Mm -hmm. I was never part of that arrangement, you remember? She will pay. She will surely pay for this shame and heartbreak. She will. Why don't you get some wisdom, woman? You will not engage in that battle if I were you. Since these people have moved on, you let them go on. I mean, move on. Move on. Then what happens? Woman, that marriage was not meant to be. What further proof do you need? Look, you've done everything you possibly could, but you failed. Now get off. Get off this case. Leave it for me and the elders. Okay? Somebody, somebody. So it was supposed to be. Okay, and 
She caught this accident on the way to pay her dowry. So it happened? <laughs> See, I don't really know you, but you're taking this so lightly, unlike other people who do. I really don't know what I was supposed to do. Shatter my head on the wall to show how hot I am. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, I cannot work. So it's not an option. Honestly, you are hilarious. I mean, come on, we're talking about a broken engagement and your heart. A wise man once said that it is better a broken engagement than a broken marriage. I try to see the positive side of everything. Impressive. I admire your outlook to life. Thank you. We have talked about me all day. Do you mind if we talk about you a little bit? <laughs> about me? What would you like to know? Can we talk about how you got to share this horrible space with me? <laughs> well, the story began with me falling over a moving van and I broke my neck. Oh, so sorry. So, <laughs> what were you doing on a moving van? <laughs> story of my life. I am a cinematographer and I'm based in Canada. But I came back here for a movie shoot and I had this particular tricky scene I was filming and it required me being a spider woman. So something led to another and here I am. So sorry, okay? Maybe, um,. You have to engage the services of um, a Spider-Man to teach you his tricks <laughs> so that it would repeat itself another time. Trust me, there won't be another time. I totally support that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should be asking you that. What are you doing? You know, kissing me was your hobby. Now listen to me. I don't see why I should be kissing you now that you're another man's wife. Another man's wife? <laughs> That's a joke of the century. I mean, who is feeding you with those legs? <sighs> Let me guess. Someone called Clara, I suppose. Come on. Stop. Why are you here? Okay, fine. I know I messed up a little bit when I asked you to give me some space. But hey, sweetie. You can move through all that we had and shared away just like that. Come on, baby. Now listen to me. What we had and shared and then the very moment you got married to another man. I did not get married to any freaking man. And please stop saying that to me, please. Stop it. What is this? Okay, fine. It was my mother's idea to get married to the prince. Her idea, not mine. I made it clear to her that you are the one I want to be with. You're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are no other. Please. I am with someone else. That's all I can tell you. Clara. That back stabbing opportunists. How can you take... What does she have? What can she possibly offer you? Respect. Loyalty. Good behavior. 
and most importantly, love and peace of mind. I know you're without just to spite me. I am sorry if you feel I betrayed you by choosing no other than your friend. But trust me, it is real. What she and I share is real. And we are hoping it lasts a very long time. From what I heard, um, Prince Uzodima is a refined gentleman. And I think you're very lucky to have him. Given your own bad attitude, and I hope he tolerates you like I did. Stanford University is one of the top universities in the US. Oh yeah, so I heard. <laughs> I was supposed to go do my master's program in the U.S., but I woke up one morning and I said, to hell with U.S., Canada is home. Oh yeah, a proud Canadian citizen speaking. A very proud one. That was the only chance I had to go to the U.S., but I blew it off. Trust me, you'll find another reason to be there soon. Mm, hopefully. So, your turn. Truth or death? Truth. Uh, uh, I have never been to a club before. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know that my truth would be this hilarious. You've never been to a nightclub? Wow. That's rare. I mean, what did you say you are again? A priest? I've never been to a nightclub because I do not fancy it. Not that I am against it. <laughs> Mom, look at her. Look at them. Can you even believe this? Why am I not surprised? I never really liked her. She was my best and closest friend. The closest. Now look at her all over my man. You know, some time ago, she told me to move on. That Nana has moved on with another woman. Little did I know that she was referring to herself. You know what? If Nana could betray you like this, I think you're better off without him. No, Mom, I disagree with you. Nana is just doing all these things to get my attention. Well, good for him because he got it. As for Clara, I will show her who runs this town. I will. Listen, I don't know what you're planning, but please, Leave them alone. Leave them alone, you say? Then what happens to me? I should stay without a man? Oh, never! Oh, come on. Come on! Don't be silly. A thousand men will kill just to have you. Do you really know who you are? A thousand men, not Nana. He loved me unconditionally. He overlooked my flaws and never made an issue out of them in our relationship. Mother, he's a good man. He's like none that I have ever known. Okay. If he was that good, why then did you leave him? Really? Did you just ask me that question? 
Mom, did you just ask me that question? Well, if you must know, I left him because of you. I left him because you put all this stupid, useless idea of becoming the queen into my head. And now look at me. No, take a very good look at me, mother. Look at me. Listen, I am sorry things turned out this way. Honestly, I meant well for you. Ononuju. 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 I want to be left alone. Leave my room. Zambele, Zambele, hai. 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 mental state then? Huh? Who knows? Huh? Does he know who he is as that now? Ichie, huh? don't make such a joke about the prince. You see, if he loses his mind, for instance, what happens to the kingdom when he's ready to take over for his father? <laughs> we will either remain with a mad king or none at all. Ichie, I don't see this as a joke. <laughs> I don't see this as a joke. Don't mess with it. Ichie, no, I Maduka. don't like this. Ichie, Maduka. I don't like this. <laughs> Time for us to resume the search for Usidatema and his family. Is his sanity not an important factor to be considered before we take any action? What do you mean by his sanity? It was said that since his accident, he lost his sanity. Who said it? Eh? Are you not tired of saying things you're not sure of? It was said that he lost his sanity since he had the accident. And that was why the doctor's daughter tried to leave, leave him. She married. I will advise that you check your facts and be sure they are right before you speak. I want to assure you here and now that there is absolutely nothing 
mentally wrong with my son, the prince. Take that back to your cohorts who have decided to create rumor out of it. Back to the issue at hand. I agree that we should resume the search for Osita Dima and his family. But there is a little hitch there. The prince was originally led to believe that Chifo Nyobuchi's daughter was his traditionally chosen wife. Now that we are searching for Osita Dima and his daughter, if and when we do find the daughter, how do we go back to the prince to tell him that she actually is his betrothed? Your Majesty, I think we should leave that to those of us who have been busy collecting bribes in order to save Chifunyibuti's daughter to the prince. This is not the time to point accusing fingers. Um, he had, no doubt, but he will. It is in your place to speak with your son about this. Yeah. He's not even remorseful for his actions. Yeah. Maduka, don't start with me this do not try it. Always proud. Listen, we men apologize for their actions. That is what should be doing. Enough. Enough, gentlemen. Enough. Huh? This is not time for us to tear at one another. This is time we should sue for peace. Um, you've rightly said it. I will find time and speak with my son. Try to put the facts straight right with them. In the meantime, the search for Osita Dima and his family resumes. <laughs> My friend, how are you? Are you okay? Oh, do you want food? Good. Oh, God. Get him food. <laughs> I know your understanding is still intact. I will help you. Okay? I will help you. Again. There is absolutely no way my son would marry from that wretched family, even though he sees where they are hiding or wasting their lives. Have you not learned from your mistakes? Have you not? Ola, tell me, how did your billionaire family thing go with you? How? Ola, you keep talking about someone being wretched. Tell me, was your father a millionaire when I married you? Did that stop tradition? Ezugu, nobody forced you to marry me. It was your decision. 
And so Uzadima must be allowed to take his own decision. Why do you keep interfering? Because he is my son. Okay, fine. Onoluju did not work. That does not mean that there are no other worthy brides out there. Surely get my son and wife from the elites of the state. No, you won't. I say you won't. I have let you control things when I did. But from now on, you either have to ship up, ship out, back down, or you do your worst. I won't let you control the affairs of this kingdom or this family any longer. Do you hear me? We shall see that. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Mm. Prince Uzadima. I see you finally got out of the hospital. With a helping hand, too. And these people in the hospital. Very kind. Ononuju, what happened? Why did you abandon me? <laughs> Why did I abandon you? You know, you were brave. That was one quality I admired in you. Your braveness. It's unfortunate that life has made you a helpless cripple. Poor Prince. Life wouldn't have been that harsh if I wasn't on my way to come marry you. Have you ever thought of that? Of course, I have. But then again, maybe it's life's own way of telling us that it wasn't supposed to be. Have you thought of that? Keep smiling. I think it's a great medicine to heal you. But um, I smile each time I remember how God saved me from one of the greatest mistakes of my life. And that was getting married to you. Because you are never worth anything, let alone being my wife. You helpless cripple. How no. dare you talk to me? No. For a helpless cripple. You've got some pride and arrogance left in you, don't you? How dare you say that to my daughter? And how is this for a helpless cripple? Just so you know, she is my special friend. I never remade. And she is a million times what you will never be. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, it had nothing to do with you. And you know it. Since it had nothing to do with me, why did you not tell me the truth? Why did you fool me all this while? To test my loyalty, I guess? But I have never questioned your loyalty. This issue is deeper than you can see. All I ask, give me the chance to explain to you. Please. 
I really don't want to listen to your explanation. I don't want to get entangled with your traditional issues. We are friends, and I see nothing wrong with you knowing a bit of my story. Uzodima, like I said, I don't want to get involved. Listen, all I ask is for us to be honest to each other. As friends, is that too much to ask of a friend? Not too much at all. I'm sorry for everything. Okay? I apologize again. So sorry for what happened. Okay? Apology accepted or denied. What do you think? Thank you so much for accepting my apology. <laughs> Look, we have not known each other for too long, but I must say that I value this friendship that I wouldn't want anything to destroy it. I feel the same way. What do you say to a lunch with my family on Sunday? Um. Are you sure it is wise for you to bring a woman to the house in the midst of these issues? I am not forbidden from having or bringing in a female friend that I'm sure of. Oh, <clears throat> right. So, lunch with you on Sunday sounds great. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll pick you up around 10. Oh, let's say 11.30. What do you think? Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Sunday. See you on Sunday. She was honestly, I'd rather die than allow you destroy all my efforts at getting a son in the wife. Then you better get prepared to die. It's all over, brother. It's all over. Give up already because I already know the fruit. All of it. What? What? What truth? What truth are you talking about? You may need to see that. Because I see your legs shaking already. They said many more will die. Sorry, I don't follow. Who said? The owners of the land. Princess Adema, the last time I spoke with you, it was revealed to me that you alone can save this land from the real that is headed for. I said, why me? I mean, how am I supposed to do that? Was that the moment when you were born, the glorious dice was cast. That same dice meant your betrothed. The same dice that chose Ononuju Yebuchi, you mean? Not the dice never chose Ononuju Nebuchi as a wife for you. Excuse me? You had me well. I know you have been made to be confused and doubts in you. So the man listen to me carefully. I am the mouthpiece of the gods. I will not and will never lie to you. And I will not deceive you about your destiny. 
so surprised to hear that. I mean, the way she went with the married thing was rather too desperate. This was an Emma. Listen and listen carefully. Your betrothed and her family left this land. Where they are, how they are, no one knows. Listen carefully. Your betrothed must be confirmed dead before you can be allowed to marry another wife. Is it How do I find this family? No. It is not in your place to look for them. The elders and your father, they know their duties. But you, it is your duty to stop the calamity that will befall this very land should you marry the wrong woman. I do not want to marry her. End of matter. It's simple as that. Atwalo malo, malo. Atwalo feke, felisi, fanya mafia. Princess on the man. It is with wisdom that one removes the fly on the scrotum. Yes, to some people, the union must hold. To somebody, it is a matter of life or death. She can do anything just to make sure that she gets whatsoever she wants. And you know who I am referring to. Your mother. Ezeribe. What do you want me to do? Help me with your wisdom, please. Are you ready to take the risk of your life? As no balanketa kwa lepwe. Then, if your answer is yes, you can go. You faked the accident. Was that what you said? But I accepted to put my life at risk in order to save this kingdom from the mother and the calamity she was spent on bringing on all of us. As the living God, the revelation that John Uju will not marry a disabled man, even if it was a prince. Son, you went too far. What if you had died? And what if the calamity befell this father mostly disappointed in you? You are the king of this kingdom. The king of Utsute Oshia you go. You are supposed to be in charge, aren't you? I know. I know, son, I know. 
Hello. I have been weak. Yes. I apologize for that. I have been weak, but I did not choose to be weak. I had no option following my past mistakes. I was blackmailed into supporting your marriage with Amanuchu. No, 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 no. It's uh, Ugobiko, Biko. Don't just go there. This is not necessary. My mother claims this is a discussion between my father and I. Stay clear from it, please. Okay. Your uncle Olise was supposed to take over the kingship from his father following his death. Kingship, as a matter of fact, was to be in their family for another three generations before it came back to us. But I would not have it so. No. I needed to be king. I was desperate enough to be king. So I masterminded his death. The suggestion came from your mother here. Ulisse had a son who was supposed to take over kingship from him. But the boy, the boy lived outside this town. He lived in another city. No one knew about him. It was my plan to have him taken out. Taken out of the way. The boy failed to come home to lay claim on his rightful kingship following his father's death. Consequently, I was crowned king. Mordred, you killed your own brother just because of a, a throne that would have come to you naturally. How desperate can one be? I know. I deserve every backlash. No! You don't just deserve a backlash, you deserve something worse. I'm out of here. Did you come in here? Who opened the gate for you? It's my harmless friend. How are you? Your friend? A madman, your friend. Who makes friends with a madman? Better to be with a harmless madman than to be a murderer, isn't it? Hey, hey, Admiral, Admiral, why you look loud? Get out! Come follow me, let me get you food. Right? Your father did not hear you. You can speak? Huh? You might have lied again. But he did not hear What is he talking about? Get out of here! Amber. Get! Wait, wait! Who are you? My name is Obika. Let Olisa's supposed lost and forgotten son. Please, my son. What did I do? Huh? 
Is it money? I have money. I can give you money. And how much do you want? My friend, talk to me. How much do you want? I will give you money. I have money. <laughs> My son, please talk to me. How much? Ah, Rubika. Thank God you are here. You know them. Please talk to them. How much do they need? Rubika, talk to me. What's going on? Father, you are too weak to be the next king. I want to be the next king. Rubika, what are you talking about? Are you insane? You want to be king. Rubika, you cannot be king before your father. You can't be king unless I'm dead. That is if I will let you live your life. Oh, you. Rubika, what are you doing? Yes, I killed him and make it look like an accident. I don't want to appear from nowhere. Given that I've been away for so long, so I left. Hoping that the people would look for me, but they did not. I came back and I, and I observed that another person is already on the train. When I came back, I did not know much. I did not know anybody in this town. So I had a plan to disguise myself so I can observe things and plan on how to get by the throne. That was after I had a rumor that Tezuko must have plotted my father's death. He had a rumor from him. People talk, you know? And after Mephune confirmed it, he told me. And he's in support of me disguising myself in order to observe things. Yes, he was my eye and my ears in this palace. That was when he started avoiding me and withholding some information from me. The day I found out Zodema is your son, I decided to kill him because he no longer served a purpose. So? So it was you? You killed him? Yes. I killed him. Now you can know what desperation can do. Don't you? Akachi. Akachi was foolishly advocating for Afmefila's death to be investigated. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Now you understand how desperate I am. I take out anyone on my way. So what will you do to us? Kill all of us and take over the throne? I could have killed you. Because I follow you everywhere you go. Then? Then I thought to myself, you're not really the threat. But the one on the throne is. Unfortunately, I did not kill you because you moved with your guards. If the same oracle let you have the throne after you must have plotted my father's death, why won't he let me? Well, Practically, he did not kill your father. You did. And maybe that was why he wasn't punished. Just maybe. I understand your predicament. I know how desperation feels. I've been there. But 
Can't you say this is the end of the road for you? You are headed nowhere. Not even to the throne. I want the throne. I haven't come this far to give up. I can never give up. Not with all the blood on your hands. You will not survive the throne, even if you get it. Listen, son. We will give you a large sum of money to start your life afresh. We will make you very comfortable. More comfortable than the throne. Because if you get there, the youths will stone you to death. So whatever it is, name your prize and it will be done here and now. Zambale, Zambale, hai. 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 Zambale, Leaders of the traditional council will decide his case tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Just that I'm worried that he might tell them that we originally plotted to kill him. No, no, no. The words of a murderer will not be taken seriously. But what's important is that we must go and appease the oracle. The only difference between us and the Ubika is that we did the planning and he executed. Well, I... I'm sorry. Yes. So what do I owe this late night call, Catherine? Lady Catherine, not Catherine. Remember? Whatever. What do you want? Well, my daughter regrets her actions. She was too shocked and needed to clear her head. Anyway, how much will it cost to bring your son back to her? Are you so poor that the only thing you have is money? Cut off my phone. What nonsense. Who is she not to take my calls? The idiot that sings my praise for a chicken change. <laughs> the joke is finally on you. And I hope you're enjoying it. Hmm? And you, Uju. I hope you have learned your lessons. You have lost two great men due to your greed and foolishness. My dear, in life, you must learn to remain humble and focused. Stop allowing your mother to push you around. You're an adult. Be a responsible adult. It's for your own good. Unfortunately, it's all too late. Too late. What if the misbehaving? What if people want to destroy it? It's got the it's got the lunch was great, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is that good? I'm so surprised to see you. Honestly, I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yes, mother. I thought it was bringing her to see my father. Yes, it makes sense. Huh? Son, she will come again. Hmm? 
Your Majesty. Greetings. What is it? I am in the middle of something with my family. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's an urgent need for you to see the leader of the messages sent in search for city demand. And it's a culture of politics. We got information that this is the is all the seeds. Alright, so he wants me to come and fly them overseas to search for all citadel man views. Right? But that is why you should come and speak with him yourself. Your Majesty, I'm sorry to encourage you. But this Ositadima in Bihisu. Oh, yes. He is the supposed father to my betrothed. The one I told you they were trying to find. But you did not tell me his name is Ositadima in Bihisu. Does it really matter? Not that you were much interested in our traditional issues. Um, Your Majesty, I don't know if this makes any sense. But I know Ositadima in Bihisu. He is originally from this kingdom. He stays overseas. Canada to be precise. Canada. Yes, Canada. And he's my father. It wasn't a bad revelation, was it? That I am your betrothed eh? and I have to get married to you? You tell me. We are good friends, Martha. Even though we pretend about it, we both have feelings for each other. And you know it. This is one of the greatest news I have ever heard all my life. Listen. I don't know, Uzo. This is more complicated than you think. My father's story about this kingdom and its people is not a pleasant one. And I guess that is why he did not mention anything to me about being betrothed to a prince. I understand, but what do we do now? This is our destiny matter. Look at how we both met and became friends. The universe is totally in support of our union and is clearly the case. My parents would never be in support. What about you? What does your heart tell you? Forget about Fate, forget about traditions, forget about your family. What do you want? Mata, Mata, it's a TV. I find it so difficult to believe that you couldn't see she was the one. Princess Adema, don't forget that I am only but a mouthpiece of the gods. I can only say what I have been asked to say. Have you forgotten what I told you? The Oracle will not speak to us concerning him. That is a punishment for us. I am clueless as far as that was concerned. My father believes she will come back, but I doubt that. Why do you have doubts? Why shouldn't I? We were just friends. Yes. 
But this is a different issue now. Where is it, baby? You can't help me too, right? Oh. Princess Adema, I wish I could. Unfortunately, everything is out of control. Besides, I am not the one that brought her to you in the first place. There is nothing I can do at this point to help. Let me advise. Go home. It is said that destiny may be delayed but can never be changed. Go home. Allow nature to complete what it has started. <laughs> You know, he's been coming around for three days now. Why are you punishing him? It's not like any of this was his making. I already told him to give me some time. I really don't know why he keeps coming. How much more time do you need? You're going back to Canada pretty soon. Hold on, talk to me. What is really your concern here? Is it your parents stand? Or how you feel about him? I am not sure. You know, I thought as much. But all the same, it's actually embarrassing for both of you that he keeps coming here without you letting him in. So, I was just thinking maybe I should check you out of this place into another hotel. That way when he realizes you're not here, he'll stop coming. Martha. I thought you've gone back to Canada already. I was told you checked out of your hotel. No, Uzo. I asked you to give me some time to think, but you weren't giving me enough space that I needed, so I had to check into another hotel. Oh. I see. That makes sense. Ah, Uzo. I'm sorry for giving you a hard time. I was just overwhelmed. And the truth is, I have given myself so many reasons why this shouldn't work. But each time I try, it just doesn't make sense. Mother, I'm not a strong believer in traditions and this be through that thing. But our story changed that for me. Everything about us were predestined. You coming down to this kingdom at this time? You agreeing to the stunt of jumping from a moving van? <laughs> My planned marriage with Ononuju that failed. Me finding myself in the same hospital as you. We becoming friends. Everything was predestined. None was a coincidence. And let me tell you, we are in this together. We can't stop this, even if we try. Nobody can stop us. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Even though I took decisions before informing them, my parents gave me their consent. Oh, they did? 
Yes, they did. I guess they've moved on from what happened to them here. They only wish that our union would change things around here. I mean, like how they treat the less privileged. That was the only issue my parents suffered here. I'm sure the perpetrators are no longer around to do more. Look, my dad, with you by my side, we will bring a whole lot of changes in this kingdom. Trust me. There is something I've been longing to do. I'm 
Zum Mele, Zum Mele, Hai 